Ischemic heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States and increasingly around the world. In fact, it has reached epidemic proportions in developing nations throughout Eastern Europe and in Asia. Here in the U.S., we've been fortunate in that age-adjusted mortality rates have steadily decreased since the early 1960s. However, that doesn't mean our work is finished. Coronary artery disease continues to be the leading cause of morbidity and mortality in middle age and, and older age groups. Even more worrisome is the increasing rates of coronary disease and its complications in racial and ethnic minorities and in young women, which is one of the few demographics in which smoking is actually increasing in the U.S. So clearly we have a lot of work to, that remains to be done in ischemic heart disease. The good news is there's much more that we can do now, both from a primary and secondary prevention standpoint, as well as from the standpoint of detecting early disease, physicians now have many more tools at their disposal. For example, with simple blood tests and biomarkers, we can detect, even in childhood and adolescence, those individuals that are at highest risk of developing future coronary events and giving us the opportunity to intervene even earlier in the stage of disease. Sophisticated imaging technologies such as CT scans, ultrasounds, and tomographic imaging techniques allow early detection of anatomically established coronary artery disease or generalized vascular disease, again giving physicians the opportunity to intervene at a much earlier stage of disease. Now once coronary artery disease is established, there is much that we can do about it. Both medical therapy as well as revascularization in the form of PCI and bypass surgery have all improved substantially over the past 20 years. In fact, medical therapy is now recognized as being as good as revascularization in the outpatient setting for the prevention of death and myocardial infarction. And the inpatient side, <clears throat> revascularization with emergency PCI is now the standard of care for acute myocardial infarction, and bypass surgery remains uh, the standard of care for left main and multivessel coronary disease, even though PCI seems to be catching up in those areas as well. Each of these three broad therapeutic areas will be reviewed in detail at the, at the annual coronary artery disease prevention, detection, and therapy course that is held by the Division of Cardiovascular Diseases of Mayo Clinic in Las Vegas every fall. This course is designed to specifically address the needs of physicians taking care of patients with ischemic heart disease and it encompasses the entire spectrum of care that we as physicians are responsible for, from primary prevention, early detection, secondary prevention, and inpatient therapeutics. Experts from around the country and from Mayo Clinic will be weighing in on the latest scientific evidence that addresses these critically important topics, and it's our hope that attendees to this important CME event will go home, and we hope that the information they learn doesn't stay in Vegas, but that it goes home with physicians and other providers to improve the care of patients that they are responsible for. So we hope that you'll be able to join us this October at, in Las Vegas for CAD 2010 Prevention Detection Treatment.